Hi everyone, I'm David Peterson. I wanted to share another mouse guard model with you today. This one is a paper leaf boat. Now one of everyone's favorite scenes from Mouse Guard Fall 1152 is Sadie paddling down the river uh, in her leaf boat. Now for that scene I didn't have a model, but when it came time to do the Mouse Guard role-playing game second edition, I thought I wanted to up my game. I wanted to make the leaf boat a little bit more believable uh, and constructed. So I made a model. Now to do this, I went out in my yard and I found the perfect maple leaf. I brought it down into the studio and I put it on the scanner bed and I scanned a copy of it. In Photoshop, I made a mirror of that same leaf. I printed this out, both the copy and the mirror, coated both with rubber cement, pasted them together. I did that on a light box so I could make sure that the registration was good. And then I trimmed out all the, all the vacancies, all the negative space. I got the leaf separate. I did this actually twice so that I had two leaves to work with. And I tinted one a darker color so that I could see where one leaf started and the next ended. Um, I put them together because the paper is two layers thick and has some rubber cement in between. I was able to shape and pull and curve. Um, some of the complex curves are made by tacking one leaf to the other using little, uh, little toothpick pieces. I did this partly to help me shape the boat, but also because I wanted to see how the mice would construct this boat. Uh, it's not perfect. It's got some holes in the bottom. I don't think that this thing would actually float with a mouse in it. But uh, we're talking about walking, talking mice, so I have a little bit of leeway. Uh, but using, using this model, I was able to come up with a more realistic version of a constructed boat. Uh, it's visually more interesting, and it was able to give me some options for how to draw the scene that I was trying to draw. Is it coming from this angle or that angle? Um, is it is it... Are you seeing more of the inside of the boat or more of the side of the boat? I had multiple boats, so I could also have the boat rocking and tilting and, and laying in the water differently uh, by having a model to use as reference. Um, I really like using this visualization technique of making a model. It gives my, my hands a break from drawing, lets me do something a little bit different, um, lets me get down into the world of Mouse Guard, and ultimately gives me something cool to put on my shelf. Now, I don't know when these are going to come back. I don't know when in the story I'm going to have mice uh, paddling and going down waterways, uh, but it's not impossible that it could happen. Will I use this exact model, or will I uh, want to update it? I don't know. But having this as a reference on the shelf all the time uh, is a really big help, and it only took probably 20 minutes to make. 